shovel that snow Swat that fly Living in the youth Do or die Ski jump Need a jump Jump that car Nothing's easy When you live so far No, nothing ain't easy at all Living up north In the last frontier I gotta be crazy But I love it here You freeze your toes You freeze your ear I love living In the last frontier I love living In the last frontier I love living In the last frontier Wash them storms, hang them up. Winter blues in a coffee cup. Spring is here, take them down. What a summer, what a hound. Oh, look at her drive, man. Split that wood, lumberjack. Pile it high and break your back. Horse flies, deer flies, no see yums. You talk funny, where you from? Hey, you talk funny, where you from? Living up north in the last frontier. I gotta be crazy, but I love it here. Don't lock my doors, don't live in fear. I love living in the last frontier. I love living in the last frontier. I love living in the last frontier. Get a job, it's the latest rage. I love working for minimum wage. Don't come. Plane says, boss man Bob, there's 50 people who want your job. 50 of them waiting outside the door. Steel is out, plastic's in, but you won't find no plastic fins. Miner, banker, lumberjack, we're all equal and that's a fact. We're all equal and that's a fact. Living up north in the last frontier, I gotta be crazy but I love it here. We're the last of the pioneers, I love living in the last Sound, I'll smoke a fish, eat your filia from a dish. Summer, winter, spring, and fall. Buckle your boots before you fall. Oh, buckle the boots, boy, before you fall. I love living in the last frontier. I gotta be crazy, but I love it here. Nothing changes from year to year. I love living in the last frontier. I love living in the last frontier. I love
One of these days, this snow's gonna melt. I shovel and I shovel and I shovel that snow. I gotta get out, but my car won't go. I get the cabin fever when the north wind blows. I gotta get out, but my car won't go. I shovel and I shovel and I shovel that snow. I shovel and I shovel and I shovel that snow. I gotta get out, my car won't go. I gotta get out, my car won't go. I shovel and I shovel. Finish up quick. My kidneys are squashed and I'm getting sick. Letting you up there was a bad mistake. Have mercy on me, for goodness sake. Root you all over, you're killing me. You ain't as hot as you used to be. If you don't stop eating now, you look just like Maggie's cow. All winter long, it's been eat, eat, eat. Putting on pounds in your seat, seat, seat. I can't stand this agony. Root you all over, you're killing me. Oh. Sandwich and a Miller Lite with a Tino's pizza every Friday night. Too many pasties, burgers and fries. Too many homemade blueberry pies. You know I'd love you if you wait a ton. Root you roll over, I think I'm done. Root you roll over, you're killing me. You ain't as hot as you used to be. If you don't stop eating now, you look just like Mackey's cow. All in long as an eat, eat. Put nine pounds in your seat. I can't stand this agony. Root you roll over, you're killing me. Root you roll over, roll over, roll over. 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 Root you roll over, you're killing me.
to suck the fun. Bag me a trophy this last week. Five foot wingspan and a six foot feet. Shot that sucker in self defense. He was chewing a hole through my chain link fence. Two taquitos knocked me down. I played dead and I laid on the ground. I ran for the house when I heard one say, Bought that car in 1964, and I got 143,000 miles on it. But I changed oil on that car religiously every 2,000 miles. But that car is getting pretty rusty now. If that car manufacturer could get rid of those iron moss, that would be the greatest innovation they could ever think of. That car is just rusting away. But the motor is good because I change the oil every 2,000 miles, really. Come on, come on. Come on, you can do it. All right. Dashing through the snow in my rusty Chevrolet. Down the road I go, sliding all the way. I need new piston rings. I need some new snow tires My car is held together by a piece of chicken wire Oh, rust and smoke, the heater's broke, the door just flew away I light a match to see the dash, and then I start to pray The frame is bent, the muffler went, the radio, it's okay Oh, what fun it is to drive this rusty Chevrolet I went to the IGA to get some Christmas cheer I just passed up my left front tire and it's getting hard to steer Skidding down the highway right past the Nagani cops I had to drag my swampers to get the car to stop Oh, rust and smoke, the heaters broke, the door just blew away I light a match to see the dash and then I start to pray Frame is bent, the muffler went, the radio, it's okay. Oh, what fun it is to drive this rusty Chevrolet. Bouncing through the snow drifts in a big blue cloud of smoke People laugh as I drive by, I wonder what's the joke I got to get to Shopko to pick up the layaway Cause Santa Claus is coming soon in his big old rusty sleigh Oh, rust and smoke, the heaters broke, the door just blew away I light a match to see the dash and I start to pray The frame is bent, the muffler went, the radio went so okay. Oh, what fun it is to drive this rusty Chevrolet Rust and smoke, the heaters broke, the door just blew away I light a match to see the dash and I start to pray The frame is bent, the muffler went, the radio went so okay. <laughs> you know, he, Tony is quite a guy. He went to Green Bay with the with the guys uh, bowling, and he was at a restaurant, and the waitress came over to one of the other fellows, and she said, What country is he from? Make him talk some more. I love to hear him talk. Make him talk. Make him talk some more. And here he is, a genuine youper. <laughs> Born in 
a blizzard in a willy's teeth The U.P. blood in my veins runs deep But I moved down here back in 65 Cause the mine closed down and I had to survive Working in the city with a million lights Giving her tar paper day and night The foreman says I am a working fool Cause I earn my pay, I don't break no rules If I didn't need to work, I wouldn't be here I'd be back home on the last frontier Getting me some of that culture shock Listening to some Uber talk Burby Anderson had a restaurant there, and just a short order restaurant, but uh, some tourists came in one day, and they were about to sit down, and uh, Herbie told uh, Dolphus Vadna, our township supervisor, he said, Dolphus, how about watching a restaurant for just a minute? He said, these people only probably only want coffee anyway. He said, I have to run to the post office to mail some letters. He said, would you watch the restaurant, and if they want coffee, give them coffee, and he said, I'll be back in 10 minutes, he said, and if they need any hamburgers or anything else, well... Uh, you know, wait until I get back. No, he said, okay. So Herbie left, and he, this old farmer that lived out in the country had pigs, and he'd come to the restaurant every day, and he picked up garbage. And he, of course, when you're picking up garbage, you don't put clean clothes on. I mean, and this guy had, uh, you know, when you'd see him, he had the snuff dribbling down his chin on both sides, you know, and he had uh, the same clothes on for two weeks. He'd been out in the cow barn shoveling manure and in the pig pen, uh, and he stunk and looked terrible, you know. And he, Adolphus heard this guy out in the kitchen, you know, rattling around, and he never thought too much of it, but he thought he'd play a little trick on these tourists. And uh, he went over to him and he said, what can I do for you? And they said, well, we'd like some coffee and we'd like to see a menu for breakfast. Okay, he said, uh, it's about 11 o'clock. He said, we'll still serve breakfast. Uh, he got the coffee to him and... Uh, they said, well, how about the menu? He said, just a minute, I'll call the chef. And he could hear Pitu out there rattling around in the kitchen. And he says, hey, Pitu, come out here. So Pitu comes to the door, and there he is, a sight to behold. Cow manure, pig manure, snuff juice down his face. And those tourists just got right up and left the restaurant right there. They never did come back. <laughs> he said, I'll call the chef. <laughs> here he comes, <laughs> silhouetted in the door. Cruising in the Chevy through the cool green pines On a beat-up highway with shot-up signs Eating a pasty out at our horse camp Playing 15 through by the kerosene lamp Throwing some shoes with the other guys Shooting the breeze and just swatting flies Getting all lit up on that six-point pier Cruising the back roads and shining beer if I didn't need to work, I wouldn't be here I'd be back home on the last frontier Getting me some of that culture shock Listening to some you for talk, you for talk, you for talk Fingerless Carlson He got his fingers blasted off in a mine So naturally they call him Fingerless Carlson There's so many Carlsons around You had to have an identification <laughs> <laughs> Nobody have any mercy on anybody over there, you know. You have to think about all these old characters, oh, yeah. you know, and, and and think where they went. I like that Pork City Bill. Though. Pork City Bill never worked and never will. He was a character. He had the damnedest laugh you ever heard in your life. I think I got it copied right. He went something like this. <laughs> and that was his laugh, you know. <laughs> I've never heard anybody laugh like that, but it was so infectious farmer friend of mine came over to my house one day and it was a Sunday afternoon and I was really getting ready to get to go on a snowmobile trip of course I was working on a snowmobile up on the back of the pickup and he made about three circles around that pickup now Toisto talked a little different than most people he had kind of a high-pitched voice and if I could imitate his voice I'll give you an idea what it sounded like he made these three trips around my pickup truck watching me working feverishly to get on get my snowmobile ready to go on a trip and he looked at me and so innocently and he says gee whiz you got a wife you got kids you got cows you got chickens you got tractors what the heck do you need a snowmobile for ain't you got troubles enough already <laughs> Werner was a boss down in a pit at Republic, and he had fallen a lot of times in the mine, but he was kind of a 
slippery day, wintertime, snow and ice all over the shovel, and he went up on a catwalk, and there was part of the catwalk had got knocked off, and he slipped up there, and he fell right off about 16 feet, you know, and the guy is up in age, and he was rolling around down on the rocks down below, and holy mackerel, everybody run down and said, are you okay, Werner? <laughs> he jumped up, he said, you can't kill Werner, I'm too tough. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't need to work, I wouldn't be here. I'd be back home on the last frontier. Getting me some of that culture shock. Listening to some you for talk, you for talk, you for talk, you for talk, you for talk. What what what's this on my mitten? said the troll from down below. Is it just a picker or a piece of dirty snow? I think I'll just brush it off and kick it in the lake and stay down below the bridge and eat my birthday cake. This rebel group from Sumi, they got a master plan to blow up the mighty Mackinac and take our rebel stand. Secede from the Union, call this place Uperland. Become a third world power, ask the U.S. for a hand. They'll give us lots of raha. We'll be rich as oil seeks. Cause they won't want the Russians putting missiles in Route Rick. Dear Mr. Governor, you better turn us loose. We ask you for some rest off. Instead, you set us loose. The honeymoon is over. The declaration's written. We'll take what's above the bridge and you can keep the mitten. There's nothing in the land above the bridge, said the troll from down below. Just mosquitoes big as hummingbirds and trees and swamps and snow. The people there eat deer meat, because they don't have no beef. When you answer nature's call, you gotta use a leaf. In December, they use dog sleighs, and June, they use canoes. They all got wood ticks in their hair and sawdust in their shoes. Everybody lives in tar paper shacks way out in the woods. I wouldn't live above the bridge, even if I could. We sell clean air to the west coast, blueberries to Iran, ice and snow to the Arabs, pasties to Japan, scorpus to the Russians, smelt to Pakistan, moose meat to the McDonald's, sisu to Uncle Sam. We join the world market, control a smart deal trade, become a mighty nation, who'll be asking us for aid. Make Sumi the capital. Yeah. Elect Puga the king. Puga, Puga. We want the mosquito Puga. as a scapegoat. No mosquito hunting. A rust bucket in every yard. Ten quarts of firewood a year for life. Split it yourself. Beer in every pot. That, of course, was one of the latest hits by the Youpers from Ishpeming Mish. <laughs> oh, these cigarettes. <laughs> I love them, though. You're listening to YOOP Radio National Mine Mish, the one-watt golden voice of Tilden Valley. Stay tuned next for Talk Time with Ernie Potla's boy, Joe. <laughs> Take it away, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Toivo, cut the music. Hey, that's good. Hey, when Joseph stop, he needs Good morning stop, to hey. you all, and welcome to talk time on this cold, snowy, crappy, miserable, lousy day. I hope you all had a good weekend. I know I didn't. My water pipes froze and split, so I jumped in the Chevy to go in town and pick up some elbows and unions. I went in a ditch over by the four-way stop. So I walked up to Woody's bar and called the wife to bring the Plymouth. So then she got stuck with the Plymouth and I had to wait for three hours. When she finally got there and we were leaving the bar, she stepped on my hand and broke two fingers. So I never did get them water pipes fixed. Oh, well, that's the way it goes in the UP, I guess. Now let's get down to business. You got something to buy, sell, or trade? Give us a call at 4061 or 4062. 
And we'll be back with our first caller after this message. Milltown Loggettes. That's right, folks. Milltown Loggettes. The all wood, all natural, uncharcoal briquettes. Ideal for barbecuing, campfires, wood stoves, and fireplace fuel. Smoking fish and game and fire starter. 100% natural hardwood. And when the party gets dull, throw a few in the toilet and watch them swell. Voila! Instant party crap. Fool all your friends. <laughs> Scatter a few on the rug, put a couple in a chair, or leave a few next to the old turlet. Sit back and watch your friends get sick and throw up. <laughs> For fun and fire, that's Milltown Loggettes. Milltown Loggettes. Wood, one of nature's most abundant, renewable resources. Okay, we're back. This is talk time, and we're ready for caller number one. Go ahead, caller number one. Go ahead, caller number one. I think the guy died, Joe. You're on the air. This is talk time. Talk to me. Yeah, hello. 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 Hello, caller number one. You have something to buy, sell, or trade? This is talk time. Yes, this is talk time. Go ahead. You that bottle. Yep, that's me. Go ahead. Say, I can't hear you too good. I'm calling from the neighbor's phone because that line don't come from my place. Oh, that's okay. We can hear you fine. Go ahead. You know, I, I used to play ball with your old man Ernie. He was a pretty good ball player, that guy. Yeah, yeah, that's great. You got something you want to buy, sell, or trade? Yeah, I got that cow shit and got sheep shit and horse shit for oh, sale. Okay, this is Joe Potla on Talk Time. We'll be right back after this message. Okay, now listen. You want me to lose my job or something? You can't say shit on the radio. Oh, there's, there's priests and old ladies and, and little kids out there listening and... The FCC will pull our license. I'll be back out on the farm. I don't want to work on the farm. No, you gotta, you gotta say manure, okay? Don't say okay, shit. Okay, that manure. Okay. Okay, this is talk time. We're back with caller number one. Go ahead, caller number one. Yeah, I got that manure. I got that yeah. sheep manure. I got okay. the horse manure. And I got the okay. cow manure. I okay. got all kinds of shit for sale. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes, due to technical difficulties, talk time has been canceled today. Joe, I think you better go get that Twitch of yours checked out. Ha! <laughs> Here's one going out to the gang at the VFW in Republic. It's YOOP's Pick Hit of the Week. One by Bertha and Charlie called Isosikat, or the killing of the big pig. Take it away, Bertha and Charlie. Isossa talossa kun sikkaa tapetin, niin paljon oli nylkiä eitä. Ei kolmasti päivässä lämpöni sauna ja aina oli kylviä eitä. Kuustoista vuotta kun sikkaa syötettiin voilla ja perun alla. Ei eihän siitä henkikään eronnut kun suurella kannun alla. Sian tapomiestä oli suurta, oli pientä, oli karvaa, reita ja muita. Ei kaksitoista akkaa, aina vaan pakkaa patojen alle puita. Ja ämmät ne huuteli siunas ja hyppeli ympäri aivan kuin hullu. Ei koskaan ole nähtynä sellaista sikajasta enemmän läskiöistä Louhulla hirvellä, kolmella kirveellä pääsiltä irti lyötiin. Yksitoista kuukautta neljässä talossa, kun tapajaiskeittoa syötiin. Ja sellaista sikkaa ei varmastikaan ole ollut muilla kuin meillä. Kun lasten lapset oli harmaa ja lapset oli vielä sen läskiä heillä. Lasten lapset oli harmaa ja lapset oli vielä sen läskiä heillä. For sixteen years we fed that pig, he looked just like a hippo. Then he broke into the roof house and he ate up all the potatoes. Got 
steam and mad and said, it's time to make some bacon. The pig killers came to kill the pig and so did all the neighbors. Matthew was the strongest man, so he hit it with the hammer. The hammer broke and the pig got mad and chased us in the sauna. Yushka got that 16 gauge, stuck it in the pig's ear. The gun went off and the pig just sneezed and chased him up a jack pine. Yell down from the highest limb, go get the town hall cannon. It took three shots to knock it down and four more shots to kill it. Grandpa said, I just can't wait to get my plate and fill it. I hope it's not as tough to eat as it was tough to kill it. Hope it's not too tough to eat as it was tough to kill it. All right, that was Bertha and Charlie with the killing of the big pig. Boy, that song makes me want to run over to Herbie's and get me some bacon and eggs. We got a treat for you folks today, a brand new release from You Guys Records called The Couch That Burps. And on our phone lines, we got the young lady that sang that song, Sandy Kempa, the Tyvola Twister. Sandy, you got any words of wisdom for our YOOP listeners? Sex is like bridge. If you don't have a good partner, you better have a good hand. <laughs> okay, okay. Very good, Sandy, I think. Um, here's the couch that burps. <laughs> I can't forget the night we met, you were such a hunk. You took me to your uncle's camp and we got really drunk. I asked you for some foreplay, you went and got the cards. You said let's play 15 to that foreplay sounds too hard. I dragged you to the sauna, I tried to prime your pump. You passed out upon the bench and laid there like a stump. I beat you with some cedar boughs, I tried to get you hot. You got all excited and went off like a shot. I'm married to a couch that burps and talks to the TV. The last time you took me out was 1963. Should have listened to my mom and married some old fart. One with lots of money and trouble with his heart. I went to Dr. Tobin cause I was gaining weight. He said I should have crossed my legs cause I was three months late. Couldn't have been those Mackey boys from down in Ishpeming. They didn't take no chances, they use those robber things. You were down in Green Bay with your buddy Bob. All you did was guzzle beer and didn't find a job. I couldn't wait till you got home, you had to marry me. I'm married to a couch that burps and talks to the TV. I'm married to a couch that burps and talks to the TV. The last time you took me out was 1963. Should have listened to my ma and married some old fart. One with lots of money and trouble with his heart. I'm married to a couch that burps and talks to the TV. The last time you took me out was 1963. Should have listened to my ma and married some old fart. One with lots of money and trouble with his heart. One with lots of money and trouble with his heart. Hey, there goes one. Hey, you shot my cow. <laughs> It's the second week of deer camp, I got a swollen head I'm lying with the dust balls underneath my bed An icy breeze is blowing in through the tongue and groove My pants are frozen to the floor and I'm too sick to move I didn't drink too many, only 30 cans of beer 
It must have been that last shot that put me under here. It's the second week of deer camp, and all the guys are here. We drink, play cards, and shoot the bull, but never shoot no deer. The only time we leave the camp is when we go for beer. The second week of deer camp is the greatest time of year. I remember playing poker, that weasel must have won. He's wearing mine with swampers and sleeping with my gun. He's snoring like a chainsaw, the camp smells like a dump. And someone's dirty underwear is hanging on the pump. Muck goes in the wood box, eaters passed out on the stove. His flannel shirt is smoking, I wonder if he knows. It's the second week of deer camp, and all the guys are here. We drink, play cards, and shoot the bull, but never shoot no deer. The only time we leave the camp is when we go for beer. The second week of deer camp is the greatest time of year. Vito's crawling through the door, I think he got frostbite. He passed out in the outhouse, and he been there since last night. And Goofa stumbles through the door, he says he got a buck. He was coming from the wayside, and he killed it with his truck. And Musty cracks a beer and says, it's time to celebrate. Goofus got the first buck since 1968. It's the second week of deer camp, and all the guys are here. We drink big hearts and shoot the bull, but never shoot no deer. The only time we leave the camp is when we go for beer. The second week of deer camp is the greatest time of year. It's the second week of deer camp, and all the guys are here. We drink, play cards, and shoot the bull, but never shoot no deer. The only time we leave the camp is when we go for beer. The second week of deer camp is the greatest time of year. Yo, we 
whiskey, you can keep your wine. I'll take a cold beer any old time. Beer, 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 beer. I love the stuff I can't get. 